I am itching, just itching to build something. I've been crawling Facebook Marketplace looking for something funky to build, and then I realized I have a garage full of funky stuff, so let's build something. What is all of this stuff? Let's start with, it's supposed to go in a bicycle and you start the motor by pedaling the pedals of the bicycle and basically bump starting. Obviously there are no pedals on here, but it does have an electric motor here. So essentially this motor would bump start this motor, but it would also serve as like a primary stage motor that would carry the bike up to about 25, 28 miles an hour. When this thing is all out of juice, this thing carries it the rest of the way and it would do like 50 or 60 miles per hour. Now this motor was never meant to go into this frame. This bike was a concept bike, a lot like this bike over here. And that's a story for another day. The problem with this concept vehicle is that it was really just supposed to be something kind of cute, something that would go in a display somewhere, something I whipped together really quickly. It doesn't, it's not really a good ride. All right, I've been doing some thinking, some ruminating, and I've come to a decision of the direction that we're gonna go, and we're going to use this frame. And we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting and rearranging of this frame in my handy dandy frame jig. Let me give you a quick visual first. In order to fit this in here, plus a battery that will go under here, I need to cut all of this out. These motors already have a mount for the motor to mate to a frame. This is a one and a half inch diameter and it will center the motor exactly where it needs to be. However, the offset of the sprocket from that center line is set up for a standard bicycle single speed and that's not what this has. Since I've already put this internal combustion motor in a frame with this electric motor, I'm already aware of the offset and I built this carrier to be able to offset the motor so that it is in line with both sprockets. I also 3D printed this little mount for the magneto that fires the spark plug to mount inside of this hole because I'm not gonna be able to use that. So in order to use this carrier and put it inside this frame, I need to rearrange all of this stuff. The motor is gonna go generally somewhere about here and all of this stuff is in the way, which means I have to cut it out. I'm going to keep the neck, I'm going to keep the axle plates, I'm going to keep the backbones and the seat stay, and I'm gonna keep the seat mount, but everything from below this line has to go. Here we have some laser cut parts that I designed quickly in 3D and they will bolt to this jig and these rear axle dropouts. Perfectly in place, the same place they are now. And I'll be able to cut all of this stuff out and know that these aren't going to move. Even if I bend on it, even if I weld on it, it's gonna remain completely in place. Solid. All right, we're ready to start building. Well, kind of. We're ready to start designing, planning, and then building. It's a crucial step, it's kind of boring, but frankly, that's where I think all the fun is. Oh my God. I love when a good plan comes together. Time to start bending some tubing, but I gotta get a bunch of this stuff out of the way. So I have clamped these two on top of each other and I'm going to take a nice flat little cut here, flat little cut here so they're equal and I'm gonna make sure that I do the same to each one as the other step by step. So I've been trying to figure out Figure out the uh, right, but also fastest and easiest way to put these little nubs on and 
normally you would form those out of steel and uh, weld them on, grind them down. But I think I might just build it up with weld. Upon further review, I realized that an acorn nut is actually um, pretty much the same, same shape, except it's covered in zinc and you gotta take all that stuff off before you weld anything, which I did. Upon tapping this down, I dented the top and I'm realizing that the top is very thin. So I'm gonna buzz it off and then build up some weld on the tip so I can get this a little bit more conical to match the one that's already on the frame. Well, the camera overheated, so I put it inside. Finished welding, and I used the belt sander to shape them up. I'm gonna polish them up with the DA. So I'm ready to start putting these things in, except there's a hole in this neck. The original down tube was here, and it covered this hole. They're commonly there, and the right thing to do is to fill it. Uh, find a piece of metal that matches this one and a half inches. This is 1.5 inches and this is 1.5 inches. And the thickness of this much more closely resembles this. It'll be easier to weld and to finish it. Uh, so I'm gonna try and cut this out first and you can see how I do it. Take a piece of paper, cut something to size. Gently gonna feel around the edges. They have a little circle. Mm, that'll work. Question is, how do I hold it in there while I'm welding? Fuck! God damn it! I cannot believe I just did that. Of course, went in the hole. At least we know it fits. Question is, do I cut out another one or do I just take this off? You don't normally want to take something out of the jig before it's all complete, but this will be fine. They're all going back to the same, I'm not like bending on anything. It'll be fine. Camera overheated again, and I'm still going. That's good news. And this is all done. It's not perfect. I know, there's a couple ripples in there, but it's strong. It's gonna be fine. It's also gonna be powder coated. Looks pretty straight. All this stuff can be moved just a little bit, touched up, but what I'm gonna do before I tack anything in is I'm going to design the motor mount. And that is going to be a piece of flat steel with two folds on the end. It will basically serve as the first brace. And then I can clamp that to this, and I know it's perfectly in position before I tack anything. It's Saturday, Monday. My boys at RMFG cut and bent this plate for me. It's literally one o'clock. I put this order in last night. They called me at like 10.30 a.m. said it's ready. It's kind of like Sen Cut Sen, but they're local in Fort Worth. They're not as big as Sen Cut Sen, but they do a bunch of stuff like that and they have a really interesting direction. So thank you guys for turning this around so fast. They don't have any minimums right now. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check them out. I like them. But now we can mount the motor and we can start welding a bunch of stuff. I think we're gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, we're gonna finish the frame. There's a bunch of little details, some more to add to the frame. We gotta make pegs, the seat post, chain tensioner, kickstand, and a bunch of little packaging things. Oh yeah, a gas tank. That's gonna be made in the, in the next episode. Appreciate you guys watching if you watch this far. 
Would really appreciate a like, comment, subscription, etc. Getting back on with the building stuff and um, yeah, more to come.